गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब क्लासेस मेडिकल क्लासेस बाय डॉक्टर श्रीनिधि कुमार आचार्य प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड आल्सो प्लीज गिव योर वैल्यूबल कमेंट्स एंड यू कैन आल्सो विजिट द प्लेलिस्ट इन द प्लेलिस्ट ऑल द टॉपिक्स सो फॉर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हैज बिन प्रोवाइडेड इन अ वेरी सिस्टमेटिक ऑर्डर सो इट इज क्वाइट कन्वीनियंट फॉर द स्टडी एनी वे इन द लास्ट फ्यू क्लासेस वी हैव डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द ऑर्टिजम In the last class, we are discuss about we were discussing about the differential diagnosis of autism. So today we will discuss about management of uh, autism. Now management of the autism is really a big challenge, okay? Because there is no any single treatment that we can provide to the autism patient. It is a disease with the multidisciplinary treatment requirement. It requires a multidisciplinary treatment, so it is not a one man. Uh, task we require the help of so many other people from the medical field now there is a role of pediatrician definitely there is also a role of occupational therapist there is a role of speech therapist and uh, there is also requirement of a special schooling and there is there is a requirement of counselor so uh, these are all the requirement for the management of the autism therefore it is called multidisciplinary treatment there may be also requirement of a psychotherapist so one thing is try to diagnose this autism as early possible because if you diagnose the case of autism at the age of 6 or 7 years it is of no much use but if you diagnose the autism as early as possible like 8 month 9 month 10 month 12 month etc or at 1.5 years etc then chance of uh, recovery is good because the development of the brain is on the way it is not yet completed by the end of 2 uh, years so chance of neuroplasticity is more and if you give some consistent treatment continuously so definitely there is a possibility of development of neuroplasticity and there is every chance of improving the uh, status of the child so therefore early diagnosis is very important that's one very important clue now the management should be given to minimize the core features and associated effects so once you diagnose at the earliest then you have to give the treatment to minimize the core features the core features we have seen like social problems language problems repetitive problems etc so we have to target these core symptoms and we have to try to treat it another option another uh, uh, principle is maximize uh, the functional independence and quality of the life try to improve the quality of the life and try to maximize the independency of the child that means child is able to do his own work independently so our target should be on that way okay it may be by speech therapy occupational therapies etc or behavioral therapy etc try to make the child more and more independent don't make him dependent to the uh, parents or caretaker so that is another important goal how much we have succeeded that's a different issue but this is a goal now then alleviate the family distress yes there 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 will be a lot of family distress the parents are get disturbed psychologically and as well as physically therefore uh, try to cool down the parents and uh, explain the reality and explain their duties and uh, what are all the things that they have to do and uh, explain what steps they can take uh, by their own in the family uh, instead of always visiting to the pediatricians etc so they can treat uh, that means manage so many things by their own if they know the thing so counsel the parents then uh, facilitating the developmental uh, learning so child has to learn many things because of social is get affected language is get affected he will have a lot of problem in learning although cognition may not be get affected much but as the input is sensory input is get affected so he will have a lot of problems in uh, learning behavior and as well as development so uh, so this has to be seen properly and uh, we have to uh, go in that way next promoting the socialization try to make the child more and more social these are all discussing the only principles detail we will see later okay so promoting the socialization try to make the baby mingle with so many people okay so don't be uh, don't allow the baby to be single uh, don't allow the solo play so maximally try to socialize the baby in between the in between so many kids and all then reducing the maladaptive behavior so because of this problem 
many times child adopt so many mal adoptive behaviors okay he is not able to listen properly so there will therefore he will be there in his own world and he create its own world and he will be happy in that world so now try to correct reduce this mal adoptive behaviors then important is educating and supporting families family support is very important it is not the one or two or three day task it requires a, a long period for the improvement so uh, the family has to be a uh, family has to ready for this part particular purpose and uh, family should be always supportive all the family members should be supportive for the parents so then only it is possible so these are some of the important management principles so when we talk in case of a uh, autism now in the next class we will discuss about different uh, strategies that can that we can adopt for the purpose of treatment of uh, autism till then goodbye don't forget to subscribe my channel and also please give your valuable comments thank you